Welcome to this week's Weekly Whistle. This is Chris Rastatter, NCAA Men's Basketball National Coordinator of Officials. This week's video involves block charge plays with a little twist known as straight line path. Rule 10.1.12 says, when a dribbler has obtained a straight line path, the dribbler may not be bumped, pushed, or otherwise crowded out of that path. When an opponent is able to legally establish guarding position in that path, the dribbler shall avoid contact by changing direction or ending the dribble. Note, if the offensive player changes his path and initiates contact or uses an overt action to clear space, rule 10.1.12 no longer applies. Let's look at some plays. Blue 3 obtains a straight line path down the near lane line. From the end line angle, it is very apparent that white 0 fails to get into 3's path when contact occurs. This is a blocking foul on white 0. White 23 has obtained a straight line path parallel to the end line. Black 2 attempts to draw a player control foul. From the second camera angle, it is clear that Black 2 does not get into 23's path and creates contact from the side. This is a blocking foul on Black number 2. On this play, Blue 10 attempts to guard White 1 who has a straight line path to the basket. The difference on this play is that Blue 10 gets into White 1's path when contact occurs. Watch as Blue 10 takes the contact in the torso. This play was correctly called player control foul on White 1. White 5 drives down the opposite lane line. In an attempt to draw a charge, Black 2 slides laterally to defend. Black 2 does not get into 5's path and creates illegal contact on 5's side. This is another straight line path blocking foul. On this final play, Blue 1 takes a straight line path to the basket. Similar to the previous player control foul, Gray 1 is able to gain possession in Blue 1's path and takes the contact in his torso. This is legal guarding position and Blue 1 is correctly called for a player control foul. On straight line path plays, it is important to referee the defender and not the ball handler. When a defender is unable to get into the path of the offense, it is he who is responsible for the contact and a defensive foul is the correct call. Thanks for watching this week's video. I hope you learned a little something about officiating this type of block charge play. Have a great week and we'll see you next time.